we always talk about Africa and India and China and Thailand and Brazil. Brazil has done amazingly to stop the rate of new infections, amazingly, because they have bombarded the schools, uh, the, the airports with education about the usage of condoms. We don't do so great in America. I think lack of awareness is a big challenge that we face as you know educators, as teachers, as community members. So people don't know, you know the, about the causes of this disease, they don't know about the prevention measures that they can take and then they also don't know about the research that is being done to treat this, this disease and the challenges involved. The biggest issue at this point is ensuring that the facts that are communicated to the students are correct. Um, there still are a lot of myths and if it's not consistently reinforced, the students tend to forget and still have fears and that lack of knowledge is still an issue. The purpose of today's event is to provide teachers with an opportunity to take a look at the topic HIV AIDS and ways that they can build that into their curriculum. So by looking at, by hearing directly from the experts, um, they can gain some more information and more knowledge about the actual epidemic and what the state and condition of it in DC is as well as other places in the world and then provide a real world context for them to build that into their curriculum which makes it more interesting for students. I think some of the lessons we've learned recently internationally about making HIV a priority, having straight talk, using evidence-based interventions, and uh, really knowing our history for HIV but not being bogged down in it, being willing to innovate, those are the lessons we need to start to make a dramatic reversal in the course of our HIV epidemic here in the States. There are some curricula that, that focus on it, but I think that you know it needs to be integrated into the high school curriculum or even at the middle school level in teacher education programs. And we can easily integrate it with you know edu evolution education, community health education. And uh, I think it needs to, to, to be given more time you know, and prominence in the, in the science biology curriculum. As you may know, uh, yes, we have improved enormously the, expect the expectancy of uh, the, the, the lifespan of AIDS patients. We do have protein inhibitors and we do have reverse transcriptase inhibitors and we do have a fusion inhibitor, FDA approved. Um, but it's obvious that we do generate resistant strains more and more resistant strains appear that are completely resistant to the protease inhibitors that we have now in hand. This coupled with excruciating, I will call them, side effects, and if you read the AIDS update of 2007, you will see that some, some patients rather die than take those terrible protease inhibitors. So yes, they are great in general, but it's obvious that we will need more protease inhibitors and or other inhibitors. If you look at how the virus is evolving, how they become resistant to diseases, it directly ties into the idea of evolution. So, in fact, you know, by studying the resistance that you see in HIV virus to these new treatments, would help students and teachers to understand the idea of evolution, the model of evolution, and they can see it, you know, in practice. What I'd like to see developed are more tools, almost like a toolkit, and this comes from creative teachers, of ways to bring elements of the HIV story, of HIV information, into other performance-based activities. For example, a reading assignment that is improving reading comprehension or writing uh, assignments out of that that has to do with some of the complexities of HIV here in other countries about social stigma issues like that about how to cope um, you can say the same for math and science there are a lot of creative math and science problems or projects or questions that could circle around the HIV topic and really hopefully get kids engaged in a new way the Caution Science Museum has developed some activities around the topic. Um, we have some activities that look at antiretrovirals and how the HIV life cycle um, can be used to develop um, antiretrovirals and um, building into that curriculum concepts like, or that, that lesson concepts like my, uh, protein synthesis, microbial evolution, um, vaccine development, which are all things that teachers address in the classroom. We also have something that looks at the public health um, aspects of it and how different regions of the world are impacted um, in different ways based on the realities of the region itself. 
each individual, each family needs to really craft a defense against HIV. We've seen that be successful for smoking. You know, we're in a, a, a place in uh, our time of smoking response where now you have kids who know as much, if not more, about preventing smoking-related diseases as their parents or grandparents ever did. Um, I think we're in a need place there for HIV as well.